Hey everybody, RC here. We're back with Stranded Deep, episode two. So uh, I've kind of reorganized everything. I still I kept the water tank, and uh, if just in case we need it. And you see a storm coming in. So these kind of suck. They make vision in the water very hard. They bring up waves. So what I'm doing now is let's just run around the island, see if we missed anything. And I'm also looking for wrecks that we haven't hit yet. And I think we've hit them all. Now, sometimes there are wrecks a little bit deeper. Those water splashes like we saw on the last one, that's kind of your telltale sign. Now, here's one of the things with the rain coming in. Supposedly, rain will recharge your water and your growing plots if you have any. So let's, you can see we've still got four down here, but our water's full. So it must do it. So let's go ahead and drink that. We're going to hold E to drink. And we're going to go ahead and drink two. So we still have four palm fronds down there. So the rain must have filled that up. Also, we have a palm frond here. And I had one that one extra ration that we got. So I left it here as well. So let's see. What do I want to do? Let's check. Okay, so I've got that. I've got that. I've got room for some stuff there. Tell you what, I want to bring the peepees. We're going to put those in here. I'll put the air tank in there. And then that's full, that's full, that's full. So I want to take as much with me as we can. All right, the potatoes, the fibrous leaves, Even though those aren't full, they're still very important. Oh, hold on. We had another air tank, did we not? Or do I have the air tank on me? I had another air tank, so let's go ahead and salvage that. There it is. All right. All right, so you, 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 you. And I've got room for one more thing. What do we want to bring? Um, sticks are helpful. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Planks. All right. Where was the plank? There it was right there. I hear you. What? <laughs> I think he's upset I'm not paying enough attention to him. All right. So... Let's bring this palm frond over here with that one so we can find it. I'm going to bring these. Yep, let's stick those in there. And then we can have that. And then I'm going to bring the four rocks. Right? I think we're good. Okay, so I want to make a note. on, And I keep a notebook right by my desk. So I keep a... I keep a grid, and I'll show you how this works. Let me go save real quick. All right, let's save. And then we're going to quit. Not to desktop, but we're going to quit. And I'll show you why I do this. This is the only way to find the in-game map. So when you get here, it shows your island, and you can kind of see some wrecks. So, you know, this is a good way to kind of spot check your island. But go to Cartographer. This is the map. Okay, that, we want that, and we want to select, delete, yes. All right, that's been now replaced. The lighthouse was a custom island. Um, okay, and it looks like there are only two bosses now. So we have uh, the eel and the shark over on these islands, or in these areas. There's islands there, I think. But there are also the missions. So the lighthouse was a custom island. Uh, you have to come in and uh, I don't know why I can't remove it. But so you have a five by five grid. So there's 25 grids on the map. So you always start off in the middle island. And you can kind of get a rough idea of the size of islands and kind of the layout. And then the names are supposed to have some type of... Um, 
So like great, ancient, great is size, ancient is the age. And from what I read, I read somewhere that ancient means it would have like more items on it, right? Raging seems to have something to do with weather. But again, that's just dark would be dark weather a lot. So, you know, you can kind of decide where you want to go. Atolls are, are small, very small islands, even though it looks good size. So, you know, not sure where we want to go here, but we want to go somewhere that has access to quite a few islands. So I'm thinking this island, it looks larger. It has all these, you know, we have basically 15 islands around it that would be accessible with resources, right? So I think that's the way we want to go. Now, the map, remember, is not up and down. North is this way. This is north, south, west. So this would be southwest, two islands. Now, we aren't ready to jump two islands yet, but we're going to take everything from this island and we're going to go to this island next. And that is, again, southwest. So let's go ahead and hit back. Oh, no. Apply. I need to apply. That's changing out that island. Now we're going to go back and we're going to continue game. So I hope that helps you guys. You can eat coconuts if you cut them in two. You always get tips on your loading screen. And this, this is neat. This came in a couple of updates back, uh, and it zooms in on the island here to where you are. So you can see your, our raft, and there we are. All right. So before we take off, I always save, just in case. All right, and we have everything with us. I've got room for one more thing, but you know what? I want that to be my... Oh, no, I don't, because I need the ore for the paddle. So now, well, that's in our hand, yes. All right, I do need this and we want to go southwest so we actually want to go that way wow all right so we want to go to that island so as long as you have an idea of where you want to go all right so we want to come around yep that's the way we want to go all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to come over we're going to drag this out in the water and you drag it by holding the right mouse button and then your directional arrows all right we're going to get on board and operate all right now we need to swing around here there we go now probably not the smartest thing for me to do here uh, it, you can tell I'm not moving, right? I'm stuck on a rock. All right, so let's get up. We're going to have to jump in the water. Get the raft off of there. That's a pain in the ass. There we go. All right, now we can sling around. We got off the rock. You can see it's kind of shallow in there. Now, the bad thing about this life raft, we're going to want to start building our regular raft. So you remember those buoy balls that we have? We can use those. We can use those barrels on the island. And we can also use tires. Those are the three crafting materials to build an actual raft. But we are going to want to, let's see, is it, I don't remember which one it is. All right, so we're going to stand up, all right, and we want to go southwest, that one there, all right. I wanted to make sure we were looking at the right one. Although I think it, yeah, that one looks farther away. So we're going to head to that one. Now these these the inflatable raft this will do us for a little while. But you can see we've got a paddle. We've got a, we've got to hold the 
the buttons to do it. Uh, when we start building a raft with a sail and then b even better, a motor, uh, then it's just you just point and go and you could just kind of hang out and enjoy the ride. Also, there are sharks out here uh, and they have a tendency to want to come up and nose your raft and they can actually tip it over. Not a good thing, right? So, yeah. On the regular raft, I don't think you flip over, or I've never seen a raft tip over from a shark. They've tipped over for other reasons. Now, you can see as we're approaching this island, there is a larger shipwreck off to the left there. But again, each, each island has two to four shipwrecks on average. And then, but now the one thing we'll have to worry about, and I did not do it. Oh boy. We're going to have to be very careful. So after you get off of the, and you can see, see that second island off in the distance? That's the island all the way to the west that I think we want to go to and make that our home base. Just again, to have access to all these islands and building on the biggest island. Now, there are custom islands, as I said, that you can uh, incorporate. What I don't like about those, I, well, let's start. What I do like is that you guys, people like you, took the time to make them. That's incredible, right? What I don't like about them is typically they are extremely loot heavy. As an example, that island that I just deleted, the lighthouse, literally I would just go to that island and I would stay there for, for the rest of the game. I would never go anywhere else unless it was to maybe, oh, look, you saw the shark down there? There's a hammerhead. All right, so we're going to get up into the shallows here. All right, we're going to stand up. We're going to attach this. All right, we're going to pull this up on shore. Now, I want, oh, first thing I want is let's, store our thing there and let's dump that now did I bring any sticks I don't think so all right we're gonna drop these here all right so my first goal is to grab some sticks and I'm gonna have to be very careful about it In fact, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to cut down this ficus tree. We're going to cut down a couple of these. And then we're going to craft up some weaponry. All right, let's get back out to our sh to our boat here. Now, it is getting dark, so we're going to have to be a little careful. So the other thing I want to grab, remember this lantern that we got? Let's pull that out. We'll just drop it right here on the beach. And now that'll give us a little bit of light. All right, now we're going to hit the C menu, and you can see we can build these spears now. And we're going to build, I've got three, I've got four in my hand, right? All right, let's see, I need, all right. I had to re, you have to re-hotkey these all the time. All right. All right, I want to go, I'm, I've got four now. And I really don't want to go into the island right now. So what I'm going to do is, oh, there's another peepee -pee right there. Look at that. All right. Well, those will come in handy at some point. We'll store that. Now, I'm going to pick up the lantern. We're going to hotkey that to number three. And you know what? I'm going to hotkey my spear to number two. That at least gives me the ability to pull up. 
pull that up real quick. So we can at least start to make our way around the island. Now the problem is, remember I said there are snakes, boars, and giant crabs. The snakes will poison you. And you have to listen for them. Go slow. A lot of times you're just looking for movement. The crabs are not the worst. They don't really hurt you a ton. It's the boars that are a pain in the ass. There's another pee pee. So again, I'm more worried about the wildlife right now. And I'm just looking around to see if I see anything. So the crabs are just what they sound like. They're giant crabs. You should see those in a distance. The boar, the boar has a tendency to hide, which makes him a pain in the butt. Now, there may not be one, but as far as I know, they're on every freaking island. There's a crab right there. So we're going to go ahead and All right. So you can see it takes about five or six hits to kill it. Now that, oh, there's one of them purple things. So we're going to leave it right there. We'll harvest it up when we come around. Now the snake has a tendency to, it, it'll, it'll hiss but they do path around so that's what you have to be careful of but when you're when you get close to it they have a tendency to coil up and that's and, and stop and that's when you can attack them but once you've hit them with a spear they do get more aggressive and will actually come after you once they have the spear in them, of course, they're easier to see. <laughs> so that's your, that's the other point that you can. Be cognizant of. All right, we've made it around the whole island. But again, I've done this before and never seen the snake or the boar. So I'm going to assume that they're here and I just haven't seen it yet. Now again, you can get up here. You can do a little bit, right? But I'm always just real leery. I'm thinking the snake's going to be right up in that area somewhere. So let's come clear out some inventory. What time is it? It's, uh, yeah, it's getting a little late. Oh, another palm sapling. Again, I, I try to get these harvested as soon as we can. I'm going to pull that up a little bit higher. Just, again, don't want it going anywhere. All right, we've got that. We've got wood. Uh, I've got a plank. All right, so there's room for the plank. What else do I have? Um, yep, the fibrous leaves. We'll drop these here for right now. All right. Now, what we want to do again is, I usually build a sleeping spot on every island, right? All right, so we're going to make a lashing. And I need three sticks. And I want my I want my compass here real quick. I want a compass. Um, okay, so my compass, we came from the, so this is going to be my second island. I'm going to make a number two notation. So on island number one, we had three barrels. I'm just going to make a note of what we left. They've got one tree, 
The tree is the, yeah, uh, the one that gives us the fibrous leaves. And that was northwest of us. So we came from that island there. Is that right? Northwest? I guess. It doesn't seem right. I thought we came from right there. But it looks like we came from that one. We'll have to open the cartographer because, again, it's easy to get lost. <laughs> All right, we're going to pocket that. We're going to pull out the lantern. So I've got my axe, my spear, hot keyed. All right, and now we're just going to start making the rounds. I want to get up into the island. I've never seen a snake up in the island interior. Now the boar will traverse up into here for sure. But like the snake could be right on the other side there, you know? All right, and you can see the ax cuts down the, the leaves quicker than um, the knife does. All right. Again, you get six of those off of each tree. So you just want to make sure you get them all. All right. So we've got one tree here. Now, one of the things you do not have to sleep in this game. You do not get tired. Uh, our inventory is full. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and unload. Once you start carrying spears, it does suck up inventory space, right? <laughs> All right, uh, the rock we'll put there. The fibrous leaves we'll drop here. The sticks we'll drop there. The lashing I'll drop here. I'll come get that when I need it. Uh, in fact, I'm going to drop that right here as well. I don't need it right now. All right, let's get back up into the island interior. All right, we had come around this way. We had seen sticks. That's what I was coming to get. All right, I don't want to go too far out there because... Again, that's back onto the fringe of the island. That's where the snake will be. Now, this is kind of a good place you can kind of look and look in the grass and see if you see anything moving. You might, you might not. Uh, these you can eat and they'll give you a lot of liquid, but those are also used to make stuff. So I don't usually pick those. Uh, and it looks like I only have... Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab a coconut while we're here. Looks like we only have one freaking tree here as well. That sucks. All right, so I want to make a note of that one tree. Now, the crab will respawn. It's I think it's on a two-day respawn as well. Uh, and the boars, if they're here. Now, the good thing about the boars and the crabs, they give you larger meat, and they also uh, give you leather. Uh, well, the boar gives you leather, not the, not the crab. All right, we're going to go ahead and chop this. I do need the drink. And then we'll eat that. All right. All right, so now I want to get a palm frond. So I feel pretty safe, like right here. This is a smaller tree. Not going to give us... Did you hear a oink there? Now you can climb on these. I don't think uh, the crabs or the boar can. So that would be 
something to consider as a defensive position if you need it. Also on top of large rocks. Oh, crap. Now, like that flat rock, they can get on that. No big deal. All right, we're going to pull this out here. All right. So it takes five to separate it, and then another five or six to break it up. All right, there we go. All right, so I want three sticks and the lashing. There's the lashing. I want the compass right now. Now, we're not going to stay here. So this is, this is just for, you know, saving purposes and also, all right, so northwest is that island there. Okay, so we're going to press and hold C. If we have all the materials, this is your automatic building. And we want to point it. That's the island that we came from, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to save, and then we're going to quit again. I just want to double check my cartographer and make sure I have not lost my sense of direction. And then it's going to be time to put a cut, guys. So let's jump into cartographer. And yes, so we are on the right island. We are pointing back. So we want to make our way here. So what we'll do next episode is I will build a water still on this island. I like having water available on every island that I might go to. Um, now, later I won't do that. But right now, um, because, you know, we may be staying somewhere a little while, we may be on an island for a little while. I like water production. And we'll be able to make cloth later, even though it's very important here in the early going. But the next step will be to get to either this island or that island. I'm thinking I want to go here. I kind of like being in the middle where you have a lot of islands around you. Right here, we'd only have five. If we went here, we'd have eight. So that might be a little better. We may go there and look and see what it looks like. But the big thing I want to do next episode is I do want to dive the wrecks on the island, uh, get any more wood crates, any loot that we can find, and then we can figure out um, where we want to go from there. Also, if we find enough stuff, we might start building our raft. We do have the hammer that we found last episode, and that's the main item you need to build things with. Uh, you have to have the hammer to open the build menu. So we'll take a look at that. I'm not sure um, level-wise that we're going to be able to build everything. But, you know, that's, that's what we've got. So anyway, we'll see you guys next episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we'll see you next time here in Stranded Deep. Thanks, guys. Bye.